titled America Needs to Listen to Canada About an Elections Agency. By the way, buried in this article is the whole story of the election of 1876 that Donald Trump used as a template to try to steal the election of 2020. And, uh, you know, that in, in and of itself is probably worth, you know, a completely separate article. But I just, I built it into this. But the point that I'm making with this article is that we are, to the best of my knowledge, the only fully developed democracy in the world that doesn't have national standards for elections. Canada, for example, has an agency. It's a government agency, but it is nonpartisan. It's not political. It's not subject to the whims of politics. It's just a professional agency that does its job, you know, like the DMV, right? Like, you know, we're, we're going to make sure that the stop signs are up. We're going to make sure that the street lights are working. This is what they do with elections. It's called Elections Canada. And we need something like that here in the United States. We've got, you've got states, I mean, now in Texas, 40% of the mail-in ballots uh, applications are being rejected. This is, this is nuts. We've got states that make it super hard to vote. And then you've got states like Oregon, where you're automatically registered to vote when you get your driver's license. And you get, you get your ballot in the mail a few weeks before the election. You have plenty of time to look up the obscure judicial candidates and, and ballot initiatives on the Internet and decide how you're going to vote. And you, and you just drop it in the mail. You, you know, there are five states now that are all male voting, including Utah, which is a Republican controlled state. It works really well. We, now, I'm not saying we should have all male voting nationwide, but it should absolutely be an option for people. They basically banned it in Texas for anybody who's under 65. Of course, they want to leave the over 65 vote voting by mail because, you know, they tend to vote for Republicans. But I mean, this is just crazy. We need national standards for elections. We need a national election commission here in the United States. And frankly, I think that we're going to see in this election in November, just, you know, just a few months down the road. In fact, we're probably going to see the beginnings of it in the primaries. Lots and lots of people in these states, Republican controlled states, where they've really cracked down on voting and they're really trying to make it hard for citizens of the United States to vote. We're going to see a backlash to that. You're going to see a lot of really pissed off people after November, in my opinion. If, the, if things keep going the way that they're going right now, and if the media stays on this, and that's a huge if, then there's going to be a lot of political will after the election for doing something like this. And I just wanted to lay down this marker right now and say, let's plan on it. Elections USA, a national agency that will oversee our elections.